Who am I that the highest king would welcome me? I was lost, but he brought me in. Oh, his love for me. Oh, his love for me. Who the sun sets free. Oh, it's free. Hi guys, my name is Jonathan and welcome to TC Youth. If you're new here, we're so glad to have us a part of our family member. We're about to go through some announcements here, so stay tuned to know how to get plugged in. First off, we have our midweek depots and we have a collective depot happening at the end of every month. So devotionals are ways that we can do to study the Bible or we can just update each other on what's been going on with our lives. For more information, please contact your tribe leader, but if you're not part of a tribe yet, please message us down in the Zoom chat below, or you can DM us at the collective.youth. We hope that you can join us at one of our devos. Next up, we have our physical services happening every Saturday at 4 p.m. at TC Ponok in the Citibank Tower. We worship together, we listen to sermons together, we get to do all the fun things together. So please do join us at our physical services. But don't worry, if you can join us at our physical services, we also do online services at 3 p.m. on Zoom. We hope that we can see you guys at one of our services. That's it for the announcements, guys. Without further ado, let's get into the sermon. What is up, TC Youth? And look, check it out. We are here for a little one-off session today. And we're going to be answering this question. Well, what is our purpose when it comes to caring for creation? Because let's face it, look, creation is all around us, whether it's a man-made creation or especially the one that we're talking about today is God's creation, both yourselves and the nature around us. You know, as a guy, uh, when I was living in California and I was surfing a lot, that sounds like such a flex, you know, like, like what a flex to put on people, you know, that like, you know, could live in some country and they're not even near the ocean. They have to fly to get to the ocean. Well, I lived in California and I surfed all the time. Right. But, but, you know, something I always did to kind of bring some peace or calm to my soul is as I would go surfing, I would just paddle out to the middle of the ocean and just chill there. Just be on my board, chilling in the ocean, hearing the, the cold salt water rub against my, uh, rub against my wetsuit and let 
letting the water just flow over me, hearing the sound of the oceans. You know, it, to me, it was something that was so calming, so, uh, so peaceful. So it, it was almost like healing for my soul. It felt so nice. And there's something about nature, whether you like to go to the mountains, whether you do like to go to the beach or in the actual water, or, or maybe you're just around some trees or, or you see beautiful, uh, some beautiful, like, roads that they're paved out and and then you have like the beautiful trees or arches like growing over each other stuff like that you know to me that is like it, maybe you like to watch those instagram posts that when you watch it it just feels good for your soul it feels so, like something about it feels nice and so there's something about nature for us as people that we respond to it now some of you here you might not even like nature but I know this, we all have some type of feelings towards nature. For example, maybe some of you feel like you need to be, you need to feel responsible for nature. Maybe some of you feel like we need to do more justice for nature. Some of you might feel like, you know, oh, like we need to take care of nature more, whether it's animals, whether that's trees or plants. Maybe some of you here feel like nature isn't really that important. But all those things equate to a fact that we feel something towards nature, whether you like it or you don't. Now, with that said, the reality is that nature is all around us and it's going to continue to be around us. In fact, even if we move past the nature of today and in the world that we live in, if humanity advances even to, into space, into different planets, like we still have to take care of those planets. We still have to take care of those things because the reality is that like God created all of these things and the purpose in which he created it for is for us. You know, I'm going to read us here just a couple verses in the Bible. Uh, and in these verses, it's just detailing the, the heart of God for his creation for us and how we're called to enjoy it, but also called to take care of it. The first verse that we're going to read is in a book called Psalm or the book of Psalms. And what Psalms means is Psalms is like a poem. It's a, it's a poem book. And why it's so important as a poem book is, you know, it, it's, it's not just written by a guy named David, but it's written by all these different people that they have different poems and hearts through their experience of life. And from this experience is what they write to God or just their own perspective of life. And I mean, it's just like every everyday music, musicians that we listen to, whether it's like Kanye or, or I, I don't even know, you know, all, all these people, they, people write out of their experience. And so we're going to pick up here in Psalm 19, verse 1. And this is a psalm written by David. And it says this, it says, The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day, they pour forth speech. Night after night, they reveal knowledge. They have no speech. They have no use of words. No sound is heard from them. Yet their voice goes out into all the earth. Their words to the end of the world. See, the author, David, here, he's writing how he's having a spiritual experience without even having to read the Bible. In fact, he's literally saying that all of creation points to a creator. Whether you're in the ocean or you're in the sand or you're in the trees or in the mountains, all of these things, like they point to some type of intelligent creator, some type of being that really moved the world to where it is today. Now, the thing you feel when you see like this nature, you're in awe of like uh, the mountains or the views or all that stuff. It's when you feel that good feeling, you know what that's a reminder of? It's a reminder of how God is good and God created good. And so whether you feel that feeling in nature or whether you feel that feeling when you've uh, experienced something personally about yourself, you know, the reality is that it points back to a good God that created good things. So not only is the nature around you good, but you are also good. Now let's bring up another verse, and this is in Genesis. So it says this, this is in Genesis chapter 2, verse 15. It says, this is, a, this is when God created the world and he created Adam and Eve. Then he said this, he says, the Lord took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to work and to take care of it. See, God made us his people. And so the first thing that we need to take care of is ourselves. We need to take care of our, our mentals. You know, we need to take care of our emotional health, our physical health. We need to take care of us because God created us. Like he, he made us, he, he called us good. So we want to take care of good things, but more, but in addition to that, also God created the world around us, the space around us. And he, and he, he literally told Adam, he said, Hey, I'm going to put you in the earth for you to take care of it. Now see that word, care, it literally equates to the word stewardship, to steward or to, 
take care of something or to manage something really well, well or multiply something. And so that steward word is something that God is calling us to do in, in the nature around us, in the animals around us, in our own selves, our own bodies, caring for creation. And so like, what's our purpose or what's some application points when it comes to taking care of creation or caring for creation? Well, number one, it's this. I think you should get outside more. Just like the psalmist says, he's so mind blown by how, how you can experience or have a spiritual experience with God outside of reading the Bible. You just go climb Mount Fuji. You go to the ocean. You sit there and think about how all of, like the way that the oceans move and the way that the sun is set in the moon and all these things, like if, if anything was off just by a bit, things would be in chaos. But, but the whole world by itself is worth being experienced. And so get outside more, go experience the world more. Don't just experience the world through the nature and video games or videos, but go out more and experience the world more. Number two, Pay more attention to the creation around you, whether, you know, there's trash and trees or whether you're kind of seeing what's happening in the ocean uh, in terms of, uh, in terms of, you know, boats that are trying to fish, but then they're destroying coral reefs, all those things. Pay attention to stuff. Educate yourself a little bit on what's happening in the world and see if there's things you can get behind, whether it's recycling more or, or any better usage of carbon or anything like that. But God's called us to take care of these things. So pay attention to the creation around you. And the last thing is this, take one step towards being more responsible with what's been entrusted to you, whether that's yourself or whether that's kind of the nature around you, pay attention to that. You know, maybe start to figure out how to plant a, uh, a tree, plant a fruit, plant, plant a plant, plant something, take care of something, but take one step. What's one, some, what's one thing? Maybe you're like, hey, you know what? I want to donate 10,000 rupiah. You know, I want to, uh, today, you know, I, I want to make sure I throw out my trash and make sure it goes in the garbage or something, but take one step towards being active in taking care of the creation around you. So look guys, remember that's our purpose when it comes to caring for the creation around us, whether it's for you, whether it's for what's around you, but let's, let's be people that take care and steward over God's creation. So let's take a moment and let's pray together. God, I just pray that as we continue to, um, as we continue to just uh, think of you and experience you through creation, we don't need to go to church or we don't need the Bible to know how big you are and how great you are and how, how amazing you are because we have the world around us. And so I pray that we would just remember you and think of you when we experience nature and it would cause us to want to just continue to take care of things better in our life. In Jesus' name, amen. So look, I love you guys. Stay tuned for next week as we're going to be kicking off a brand new series. Love you guys. I'll see you next week. Bye guys.